Owen, tough game against Mansfield coming up on Saturday, but the squad must be quite positive after the last result. Good week's training? Yeah, no. Um, we go into every game wanting to win, go into every game with a positive mindset, believing that we can win. So no matter what the circumstances of Mansfield, we're not, we're not um, playing the circumstances, we're playing the team. And we're just going out there, playing 90 minutes of football and taking it to them. Yeah, and I suppose last weekend it's nice that you know you have game plans in place for every game, but when pretty much everything goes right and we're creating chances and scoring goals and keeping a clean sheet, that must, must be great for, for the players to, to kind of know that the good work on the training pitch has worked on the pitch. Oh, 100%. And I think um, we've had a good week here. I think today's session was good, high quality from the players. And that's we just got to keep pushing on and, you know, the results will come, performances will come. And yeah, we just need to be consistent over the last three games. I think we've had some good good wins against Gillingham. Um, obviously, Tranmere Saturday could have been got a point from Walsall, but, you know, we just need to build that consistency going forward. Mm. I mean, everything's been written about Gillingham when we, before we played them, and now it's about Mansfield being the only unbeaten team. Mm -hmm. But we're here to, to win points and games, so that's what we'll be going out to do against a, a top side. Yeah, no, I mean, we did it once, we can do it again, but again, we just go to every game and we just want to win every game, no matter who the opponent is. We don't care who's in front of us, we just want to play our game and get the result and have a good performance. And on a personal level, how important and good for you is it that you're playing regular games now in the league? with that pressure that comes from having a crowd right behind you or in front of you and, and everything that goes with it. Yeah, no, it's, it's all new to me. Um, like, I don't remember, I think I've never experienced playing this many games so early on. It's like, I was saying to Samson yesterday, it's like, we're only in the start of September and I've already played eight games. If I was at Palace, I probably would have played eight games in November. It's like, the game schedule's like completely different. And, um, no, it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it all, playing football. I love playing football. Yeah. I think I come here every day happy, happy with what I do. And yeah, no, I just, I just love all of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Does that full on schedule that you've had so far, it, is there challenges to that mentally and physically or at the moment is it, wow, this is just brilliant playing all these games? I think um, definitely in the first few games, it was challenging physically. So I think we had five games in the four or five games for two weeks. So that was definitely tough physically. I felt it on my body towards the last two games. But um, no, it's just about learning how, how I recover right, how I do things properly off the pitch to make, I'm, make sure I'm right for every single game. You must feel that it, it, it was good performances that got you into the England under 20 training camp. And then it was kind of, we thought you might miss the Tranmere game, but you must be glad that you, you, some agreement was had and you were able to get back for it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy I was able to come back and uh, play in the game because I want to play as many games as possible. I don't want to miss games. But obviously, if things happen in the future of England, then I might have to. But um, no, I want to play as many games as I can here. So, yeah. How, how was the tra training camp itself? I was, it was good. It was really good. Um, working with some top players, some players at club, players who are on loan as well in Championship, League One. So uh, it's a very, very good standard of players, young, young, high potential players with some really good coaches. Yeah, and we've, we've seen across quite a few of um, Gareth Southgate's training camps and in the build up to games where young players, all of a sudden, two or three of them are, are joining in with the, the senior guys' sessions. That must be something that you must be looking forward to, or is it something that you've experienced already? Uh, no, it's not something I've experienced yet. Um, I've got to work my way towards that, but um, no, it's definitely promising when you see a, like two, three players, you know, when the first team need a few more players that like they call over from a younger age group. So it's definitely exciting to see that for the others, but for me it's definitely like something to work towards. Yeah, and obviously the, the, the short term aim for you now is to carry on playing as many games as you possibly can and, and to keep trying to get those clean sheets. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I want to... I want to play as many games as I can this season. You know, I mean, we've got loads of games, 46 league games, cup games. So I just want to be able to play as many games as I can, um, be, be consistent in my performances. And then for me also, like, I want to help the club 
in my performances and take the club as high as up the table as I can when I'm called upon.